Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols, and I am excited to share the new Perk Up card making kit with you today. I'll share what's in the kit, the extras you can get, and a few projects that I created. The Perk Up card making kit comes in a vinyl zipper pouch with a custom sticker on the front. The star of this kit is the Perk Up Stamp and Stencil Combo Set. There's a red rubber background stamp with all sorts of patterns to go on your cups, and there are three stencils to create the cups. The Perk Up die collection includes dies to cut out the three cup styles, the kit includes the Cup of Joe die collection so you can create your own mug in a large or small size. The Coffee Create Repeat stamp set includes sentiments for all sorts of coffee themed projects. And the Hug in a Mug stamp set includes all sorts of details to add to your coffee cups and more. New to our kits this year are the Insiders panels to create an easy way to add a sentiment inside your card. There are three each of four designs and they are available both in the kit and separately. Outside of the kit you can also purchase the Simple Strips Coffee Stamp. You can purchase coordinating envelope seals. There are five each of two different designs. And the Coffee Create Repeat coordinating dies are also available to purchase separately. These dies coordinate with the sentiments that are included in the kit. For the projects that I'm sharing today, I used Sugar Cube and Toffee Ink, Pink Champagne and Guava, Mint Julep and Spearmint, Macaron and Dried Fig, Confetti Cake and Cookie Monster. I've got lots of blender brushes for ink blending, Nocturne versus to find Claire ink for sentiments. For embossing, I have Versamark ink, white embossing powder, and my powder tool. Pixie spray for holding my stencils in place. Chocolate truffle liquid watercolor Copic opaque white ink, and my water brush for adding splatters. Foam squares and multimedia matte. The frame in frame three die collection, and the A2 thin frame cutting plate. I'm starting off my projects by stamping and embossing the background from the Perk Up Stamp and Stencil combo set on Sugar Cube card. Stock. I'm setting this up in my MISTI and using the guides on the grid sheet to add my A2 panel and then set my background stamp over the top. I'll use my powder tool to condition my cardstock and then stamp the image with Versamark ink. I'll sprinkle white embossing powder over the stamped image and then use my heat tool to melt the embossing powder until it is shiny. I stamped and embossed the background image again on a larger piece of sugar cube cardstock so that I could have one that included all of the complete cup designs. Now I'm going to use the stencils to add the cups. I'll start off with stencil number one and I'm using pixie spray to hold all my stencils in place. I'm using a small amount of adhesive to attach my embossed panel down to my grid sheet. I'll add the first stencil, lining it up with the embossed images. I'm using my blender brushes to apply the ink through the stencils and I'm starting off with pink champagne ink. I'm going for a multicolored look so I'm choosing just a few of these cups to do with the pink. Once I've stenciled the pink cups I will add shading using guava ink to the bottom of each of them. For the remaining cups on this stencil layer I'm applying macaron ink through the openings and then once I have that applied I'm adding shading to the bottom of each of those cups with dried fig ink. Next is stencil layer number two which is going to fill in those remaining cups. There are etched alignment guides on the stencil to help you line everything up. I'm starting off with mint julep ink and again I'm doing a multicolored design on this one too and so I'll choose several of the cups to do in the mint julep color. I'll shade the mint julep cups at the bottom with spearmint ink. For the rest of the cups on this stencil layer I'm using confetti cake ink and then I'll shade the bottoms of these cups with cookie monster ink. The last stencil layer adds the handles to the cups and some of the cups also have a lip at the top. For each cup design I'm using the darker shade of color that I used at the bottom of the cup to stencil the handles in the lips. I'm using my regular blender brushes to do this but you also could use the bitty blender brushes to add these details. Once I'm done with my blending I can pull that final stencil off for that full reveal. I think they turned out super cute and I'm excited to use these for my projects. For the panel that I did on the larger piece of sugar cube cardstock, I use the perk up dies to cut out all of the cups. For my card designs, I'm doing one with the background fully intact, and then I have all of the die cut cups, and I'm creating stacks of cups for that card. I want to do something different in the background, and so I'm using the Hug in a Mug stamp set. I took the coffee bean images from that set and put them onto an acrylic block, and I'm stamping those around the outside of the background using toffee ink. 
I have a frame cut out using the Frame and Frame 3 die collection from Sugar Cube Cardstock, and I'm using this as a guide as to how far in I should stamp the coffee beans. I also don't mind if the coffee beans kind of spill into the frame opening a little bit. And at the end, I take just the single coffee bean and I add just a few beans here and there where they need to be filled in. I added splatters to both of my backgrounds and the die cut cups using chocolate truffle liquid watercolor and Copic opaque white ink. I picked up the color with my water brush and then tapped the brush over my fingers to add the splatters. I adhered the frame to the toffee background and then arranged the coffee cups in the frame opening. I didn't adhere the cups down right away because I wanted to stamp steam using the images from the Hug in the Mug stamp set above the stacks of cups. I stamped the steam in sugar cube ink. Once the steam was stamped, I adhered the cups in place. Some are directly adhered to the background and some are popped up with foam squares for dimension. I stamped the Coffee Create Repeat Sentiment from the Coffee Create Repeat stamp set onto toffee cardstock with the Nocturne Versafine ink. The sentiment is cut out with the coordinating die. I cut out a few additional die cuts and stacked them all together so that the sentiment is popped up just a bit on the card. For the card with the coffee cup background, I'm adhering a a2 thin frame cutting plate die cut. This thin frame was cut out of toffee cardstock and I'm using multimedia matte to adhere it to the background. I stamped the sentiment for this card onto sugar cube cardstock and cut it out with the coordinating die. I also stacked this sentiment up onto additional die cuts just like I showed on the previous card. I added a few of the cup die cuts around the sentiment popped up with foam squares. The final thing to do for both of these cards is to add the panels to toffee card bases. My cards are done and I hope you enjoyed learning how I created them with the new Perk Up card making kit. You can find the kit and the other supplies that I use to create my projects in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks so much for joining me everybody and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.